あなたの声。はどうだ
いつになったらお姉ちゃんみたいに背が高くなるんだろういつに。
ゲーセン儀式ね。と、ガンオーテイクが毎年信託を下し、去年信託を迎えたのは確か、リーユエ七世の雄変。ああ、それならオイラも知ってるぞ。モンドが自由の都であるように、リーユエは契約の国で七つの勢力を代表する。七人の商人リーユエ七あら他国の人はいつもそう言うのよね私たちにとってリーユエの真の管理者はずっとガンオーテイ君よ七世は人間テイ君は神様モンドには自由の神様がいないけど私たちのところは違うちゃんと口で説明するのも難しいわねあなたたちもリーユエ校にいればおのずと分かってくるはずよ神のいない城を離れた次は私たちの国神と共にある歴史を体験するといいわ。そういえばこのリーユエに数十年も暮らしてるのに私は一度も見に行ったことないよこれが地元だからこそ行かない名所というやつか<笑>それはさておき君たちの旅路に幸があらんことを祈ってるよリーユエへようこそリーユエの
She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. F fortune So where can we see this Rite of Dissension anyway? Hmm... You're not at all close. Not to mention that if I gave you directions, as foreigners you'd get lost along the way. So better to head to Eugene Terrace, to the high ground. It's the highest place in the harbor. Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no? You also want a little Adepti luck, too? <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the Adepti and Rex Lapis himself. I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great! Thanks! Your first time in Liga? Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liu Shixing. Only those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. Great! Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Hmm, who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take. upon us. Hey. Hey. 
Lapis has been killed. Seal the exits. What? What's going on? Did she just say Rex Lapis is the Geo Archon is dead? Oh no! The Millilith! Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Paimon's freaking out! The killer is amongst us! Wait, we got close. Are we suspects? Wait, where are you going? Oh no, there's a whole bunch of soldiers out there too! Your identity! You may not be the killer, b but can we even get a- There's nowhere to run! Hey, buddy. Hold still. Stop! Stop! Come with me. Child. Child? What, so we're supposed to dote on you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Senora. Chill day. <gasps> You're Fatui, one of the Harbingers! Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, 
That woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. Come now. Don't be like that. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? <sighs> I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already... But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Liyue saying goes, the walls have ears. Correct. This bank was opened here in Liyue by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liyue is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Avonius. <laughs> here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing, not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems all right. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love, but you, you will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. Your thinking is even more radical than my own, honorary knight. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long, but the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version of events first. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti.
And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? Actually... It's the Assassin! They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the Assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Who goes there? Take the target alive! Wind blade! You don't push your luck. Don't get frostbite. Attack! Yeah! Huh! 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 Frostbite. Bastard. Uh, 
smoke will be frozen. Preposterous. Preposterous! The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Hmm. Traveler. Of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him.